For centuries, it's been like having a guilty secret that you can't hide. Perhaps 40% of Brazilians have slave blood running in their veins. And because of their dark skin, most are condemned to poverty. The message of America's black civil rights movement and of the battle against apartheid in South Africa is only now just starting to lap at the shores of Brazil. The sound of African drums once terrified Brazil's Portuguese masters. The drums and capoeira, a martial art the slaves brought with them from Africa, seemed to bode rebellion. The Portuguese outlawed capoeira, so to keep the spirit of dissent alive, the slaves transformed it from martial art to dance. Today, the drums beat out a different message, one that heralds a newly emerging pride in an ancestry that once provoked shame. <laughs> Relations between the authorities and descendants of the African slaves who still live here have never been easy. But at carnival time, there's music to ease the tensions. From black ghetto to international tourist destination, the area called Pellerino has been transformed in little more than three years. A huge success, perhaps. But to make way for the tourists, the black inhabitants for whom Pellerino was home were forced to move out, out of sight, out of mind. The government of this country, normally they are white and they don't care about black people, about black situation, you know? Uh, they do everything, you know, to say that there is no racism in this country in this country and uh, also there is democracy as well but what we can see all the time is a lack of democracy here though slavery was abolished 107 years ago brazil's power and wealth is still concentrated in the hands of the fair-skinned while for the most part blacks go on serving white masters just as their ancestors did Today, there are signs that some black children are learning to take pride in their color and their ancestry. These children belong to a group called Olodom that started in the ghetto of Pellerino a decade ago to give black people a chance to take part in carnival. Olodom took black music, black culture, and black pride onto the streets. And in 10 years, it's grown into a movement that now runs schools and refuges for the children of the poor. It's early evening. People start arriving hours before the carnival's most highly anticipated moment, Olorum's appearance in the square of the slaves. Olodom has toured the world. Its themes and its drums have been taken up by popular Western musicians like Paul Simon and Michael Jackson. But the message is aimed at Brazilians, black and white. Three decades after Martin Luther King launched the black civil rights movement of the United States, Olodom now represents the birth of a Brazilian movement by blacks who want to assume their rightful place as equal citizens of their country. 
nós víamos a alegria de nós estarmos juntos. E aquilo não era só para dançar, não. Era uma forma de dizer, nós somos um grupo, nós somos uma força quando estamos juntos. E temos que continuar juntos, lutando pelos nossos direitos, pela nossa dignidade, pelo nosso desenvolvimento humano, como pessoa, na sociedade brasileira. A growing number of black movements has begun to take the future into their own hands. In the past decade, a group called Ashe has rescued 3,500 destitute and abandoned children from the city streets. It feeds them, schools them, finds jobs, and helps to send them back to their families. As drogas, a violência policial, sobretudo, que é uma coisa que que nós sabemos que há a fome, tudo isso são são aspectos negativos que contribuem, ou seja, que tiram dos meninos uma perspectiva de vida, enfim, uma perspectiva de vida, de futuro para essas crianças, né? Essa banda é massa, essa banda é massa, vem pra banda chega essa banda arregaça. Essa banda é massa, essa banda é massa, vem pra banda chega essa banda arregaça. Então, Fábio, tanto quanto outros meninos estão aqui pela necessidade de, de estarem aqui. Não estão aqui apenas pela, pela entidade que é parceira nossa, como atrativo, com, pelos instrumentos, pelo carnaval. Não, entendeu? Estão aqui porque buscam resgatar justamente a sua condição de cidadão. Until now, Fabio's place in society has been the slums or the streets of Salvador. Não vem as que rouba, bafa. Pede dinheiro, ou se não, vai cheirando no colo e quando vê qualquer coisa, vê, bafa relógio, bafa bolsa. Não, eu ficava com medo de dormir na rua. Não dormia, não, eu ficava acordado. Com medo de alguém querer me matar, algum vagabundo, alguma polícia. Eu ficava acordado, mas se de acordar, ele vinha pra casa. Fabio's home is a couple of rooms. Five brothers and sisters, and a mother who alone supports them with whatever occasional jobs she can find. Gostou, Fábio? Gostei, tá boa. Bom, eu senti o que tá das mães sente, né? Dificuldade, não dormir direito, né? Tinha muito medo que ele fosse violentado na rua, que alguém pegasse ele, fizesse alguma lavadeira com ele, que morresse, né? It's a source of pride for a family with so little to celebrate that Fabio will now go back out onto the streets wearing Ache's carnival costume, so coveted that richer children's parents will pay up to $400 for the privilege of wearing it. Justamente meus filhos, meu filho mais velho, se eu perdesse, né, sei lá. A gente tem vários filhos, mas se a gente perder um faz muita falta. Ache's motif this year is the North American Indian tribe, the Apaches, a nation with whom Ache's leaders feel some kinship, if only in their suffering at the hands of white colonists. Black leaders see carnival as merely a truce, five days in which black and white contemporarily bury the hatchet. But there is another front on which the battle for equality has to be fought. Beyond the black center of Salvador lies the real black heartland. In countless shanty towns where millions of black Brazilians live, the growing message of black consciousness loses momentum. Então nós não temos meios, até porque as organizações que poderiam nos oferecer esses meios, ela não tem interesse que o negro se organize, que o negro se conscientize porque é melhor ter essa massa negra inconsciente. Nós achamos que, que nós somos aquelas pessoas inferiores da sociedade, somos as pessoas feias da sociedade, as pessoas sujas da sociedade, as pessoas burras 
da sociedade, as pessoas mal ajeitadas da sociedade. Colin McLean é irmão do Orde Columban, que tem been ministrando to slave descendants in the shanty town of Novella Constituenta for almost a decade. Colin McLean says the brand of slavery remains so deeply etched in the memory of black people that even today, shantytown dwellers rarely question their lot, rarely challenge their role at the bottom of Brazilian society. Driven by the demands of daily survival, few blacks in the favelas have time for political organizations. <laughs> Eugenia Nunes is an exception. É, eu tenho consciência de que o processo é lento, né? É vagaroso, mas isso não me deixa enraivada não, né? Preocupada, mas essa preocupação dá estímulo da gente de lutar mais ainda, né? Não me deixa Lugenia thinks the white establishment's most powerful weapon is control of the mass media, with its constant depiction of a white Brazilian ideal. Nós somos maioria na Bahia negra, né? E quando passa as propagandas, quando é usado o comercial, usa o estilo branco. You've got here what looks to be a racial harmony. Everybody arrives and see blacks and whites walking down the street together and thinks it's all wonderful. But the control is there. It's not in the law, but everyone kind of knows the social controls. You'll find in, in advertisements in many newspapers, even today, the phrase good appearance normally means if it's in an advertisement, if you're black, don't even apply for this job. Significa só branco. É, significa ser branco. Boa aparência é parecer o máximo. Boa aparência aqui é ser branco, né? Parecer o máximo com esse estilo, né? Com o branco. Se nós, negros, precisamos tomar consciência da nossa realidade, mas a sociedade brasileira precisa mudar a forma com que ela encara o negro, a forma como ela trata o negro, a forma como ela recebe o negro no âmbito dessa sociedade. Nós somos os grandes excluídos, os grandes, grandes, os grandes marginalizados. Salvador's Black Carnival has begun to spread the message, but international acclaim and commercialism could still easily diminish it. Brazil puts on its best, most glossy face for carnival. Undesirable images, like the tens of thousands of street children who roam the cities, are mostly swept out of sight, lest they spoil the celebration que a sociedade está buscando, a sociedade está tá muito falida, os valores sociais estão muito desgastados. Mas nós queremos deixar claro que a nossa postura não é só de oferecer alegria, mas é que, é uma, que seja uma alegria responsável, uma alegria com dignidade. Do mal nenhum sentido bem legal E quando eles tocam não tem banda igual Não tem banda igual the drums of Olodom will continue to beat out the growing demands of Brazilian blacks for recognition and dignity. Now they must find their own Martin Luther King, someone to unify and to lead them. Then, their demands will become both insistent and irresistible.